Being single during a global pandemic is rough. You can't go outside, it's risky to have friends over, and being alone with my thoughts in fridge makes me fat and depressed. I would know, because I'm single. I'm in my mid-twenties now, and I see my high school peers on social media graduating with their master's degree, getting married, and having kids. They're fulfilling society's expectations and are doing great things. Meanwhile, I'm here, quarantined with my parents, who are wonderful people, my dog, who is a very good boy, and my oversized whale lord plush, so I guarantee I won't die alone. But in all seriousness, meeting new people is difficult. I want to keep everyone safe, so I do take the recommended safety precautions. I'm wearing a face mask, staying six feet apart, not sneezing on children, washing my hands, you know, the standard procedure. Okay, so let's run through a couple scenarios. Let's say that you're at the supermarket, buying your week's supply of chocolate milk and Hot Pockets. Then you see a person who catches your eye. You have to take your shot now, or else you may never see them again. How do you get their attention? You can try a subtle gesture, like winking, for example. Although this could be cute or playful in most cultures, some cultures might take it as an insult. You know, I'm out here trying to make peace, not war. Unless love is war. Okay, so maybe that's too subtle or eye contact is just not your thing. How about writing out a note? The next question becomes delivery. Do you fold it into a plane and try to float it over to them? Or do you be a little bit more direct and Kobe a crumpled ball into their cart? Whatever you do, just make sure that your aim is good. Maybe leaving a weird note in someone's cart is a no-go. What if you want to make sure that they understand what you're saying, you know, from a distance? Maybe using the semaphore flag signal system is the best option. There's two main outcomes here. She either has no idea what you're doing, or she thinks you're trying to land a plane on her head. Maybe you got some smooth moves that will catch her attention. How about going all out and starting a playful dance battle? What's the worst that could happen? She could emotionally damage you by laughing at your moves, or she could physically destroy you on the dance floor. Not only are these embarrassing to do in public, but they could also be misread or misdirected. You know that feeling when someone is waving at you, and you wave back, but it's meant for the person behind you? That's what I'm afraid of. That awkward feeling that you have to play off, but you know it was cringy. It's one of those moments that like, you're about to fall asleep and then it's like, you remember that moment? Yeah, I, I don't want that in my life. I don't want to be asking out a girl only to pick up her grandma. Unless. But that's besides the point. Let's say that you do get their number and you have a nice conversation over the phone and now you want to spend some time together. Sounds great. But where do you go for the date? Dinner is usually a good choice. You know, restaurants take really good precautions to make sure that everybody is safe. And for the most part, you are safe until the food arrives and the masks come off. Consider that now you're within six feet of each other, breathing your germs on each other, unprotected for an hour or two. Unless you brought an air purifier as a third wheel on your date, I cannot guarantee your safety. Okay, so you survived dinner. But the night is still young and they are not ready to go home yet. Where do you go now? Movies? You gotta sit two chairs apart. Karaoke? You mean biohazard chamber? Arcade? More like germ rave. I know this makes me sound like a germaphobe, paranoid, or just plain pathetic, but I will give you one date idea that I think does work. Personally, I think mini golf is a great idea for a date, depending on how well the staff takes care of their equipment. You can keep your distance, it's well ventilated, and most importantly, you get to spend time together. Overall, a win-win situation. When it comes to partners, I know we all have our preferences. For me personally, there's one physical aspect that I look for in a potential partner. Now, people will call me shallow for this, but I like a woman with a full set, you know? I like them with a full rack. Know what I'm saying? I like them in all shapes and sizes. But I prefer a solid 32 beautiful set of t -t 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 teeth. You pervs. I guess you can call me a modern day Chip Skylark. 
Now, look, I know that masks are essential for keeping us all safe, and sometimes masks can even make the whole outfit work. I just don't want to be javaded by a beautiful woman, only for her to have teeth like Melina from Mortal Kombat. I believe that if your smile makes me happy, I'll do my best to see it again. And to be honest, you don't even need perfect teeth. Just a nice smile will do. Put snips on. There's such things as dating apps. You have a phone, right? You have internet connection, right? We're in a modern era and you can even see their teeth. Isn't that amazing? Yes, yes. I am very aware of dating apps and websites. But here's the thing. I am really bad at messaging. I'm not a fan of using emojis. They're just... Meh. So when I do muster up the little courage I have to message back, it comes off as so bland or dry that Gordon Ramsay cusses me out of my own DMs. On the other hand, I am very fluent on Discord and Twitch. Emotes just have a level of personalization that makes the message pop. I would say the same goes for stickers online and WhatsApp. They're just more expressive, unique, and easy to understand. Online dating also has the potential for catfishing. For those of you who didn't watch MTV or weren't even alive back when MTV was a thing, uh, catfishing is luring people into a relationship by pretending to be someone else. It's like when your friend sends you a picture of a cute girl, and then you just realize that that's just your homie with a Snapchat filter? Ugh! No, I'm not thirsty. I don't, I don't need your water. I'm good. Lastly, dating apps are like gotcha games. They're free to play, pay to win, they lure you in with handsome men and cute girls, and there's a very slim chance of you getting the one you're looking for. I'm not just gonna bum you out and leave it at that. Society thinks that this is the way to go. So up here, I have the typical millennial timeline. So right after high school, you usually go into college. So you're graduated by 22 with your undergrad. Uh, married between 25 and 27. So that that's where I'm at. It's not, not doing so well and kids before 30. But you have to understand that everyone has their own timeline. Maybe some people want to start their families late. Maybe some people want to work on their career. Maybe some people want to travel. There's just so many options. And you know, it's just like the game of life. Essentially, you can get to the end of the game as fast as you want. But you know, it's the whole journey that's really important here. The saying goes that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Everyone that I know has already reeled in their big catch and is heading home. But for me, I don't mind waiting. I have chocolate milk, hot pockets, and my whale lord plush to keep me company. Love takes time, and I'm just waiting for the perfect bite. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the first video here up on this channel. I know that by the time that this comes out, a lot of people are already getting vaccinated, and that's a great thing to see. But at the same time, I doubt that we'll go back to the same societal norms that we had before the pandemic. I just feel like a lot more people are health conscious and also being aware of, you know, the way how everything spreads. So they're just being overly cautious and that's fine as well. If you want to keep up to date with what I'm up to or if you want to say hi, uh, feel free to follow me on Instagram, Twitch and Twitter at snippedstringyt. Once again, thank you guys for stopping by and I will see you on the next one.